All right. I'm going to play Slave. Because I haven't played him yet on uh, YouTube. Really good skull. So far, at least. I like him a lot. But, uh... It's a very high skill ceiling skull. And I I'm not, like, super good enough with him yet to, like, do everything correctly. So, forgive me if the run's a little wonky because of that. Let's take a long water skull. With rising tide? Gross. No. <laughs> I ain't doing that. I'm trying to think of a, who would be a good partner with this guy. Someone who I want to swap with a lot. For sure. Any passives or skills or swaps? I don't get why, man. Why doesn't it just apply the flag? Like, if you have the... Um, if, you, if you swap out and you have like an, a supercharged unrivaled strike... Minotaur? Minotaur is good, actually. Sure. But if you, if you swap out to apply the flag and you have a supercharged um, Unrivaled Strike, it should do the Unrivaled Strike and also apply the flag. I don't know why it doesn't. It's wild that it doesn't. Makes him so much worse. Shield Skull? I've already done off-screen a Shield Skull and, um, and uh, <laughs> Spartan run. And it was very good. <laughs> it was very, very good. In fact... It was kind of crazy how good it was. I almost killed the, um, you know, like the, the Cuphead phase in the fight, in the Alexander fight we just did. Um, I almost skipped it with shield in this guy. And it was Mane of the Beast King um, Mana Eater dash build. And it was very, very good. I wouldn't mind doing shield skull, but maybe if we see him, I'll take him. But we're locked into Minotaur right now. But I like this character so far. I think he's good. For me, whenever I'm... Most of my parrying comes from swapping. I'm sure you guys could guess that. Like, his swap is very good. I have bad natural habit. I, I'm talking about the debris phase. But, like, to me, it's like a cuphead boss because you're just dodging projectiles. Um, that's why I call it. But, um... I get most of my, uh... My... Uh, parry stuff at legendary on this guy from swapping and also I have like bad built-in game habits that make me Instead of uh, doing the enhanced thing. I often dash out of the parry instead of like doing the enhanced thing That's just like a habit. <clears throat> Excuse me. That's a habit. I need to build up on this character is not doing that But currently right now you're probably gonna see me do it a few times. So bear with me This character is a very high skill ceiling yeah, it is a skill issue. For sure. That's like a time where you're actually correct. It is a skill issue. Yeah, bullet hell. I don't know. I just call it Cuphead Phase because it's funny, I guess. I mean, it's not really funny, but... It's a reference, and everyone likes references. I'm always correct. False. You're streaming guy. You're the worst member of this community by a lot. You're almost never right. I don't even... I think Zaza was less horrible than you <laughs> like I, I would trade zaza i would trade at least 10 zazas for one streaming guy if there were 10 zazas in my chat and they were all like roasting each other and like debating each other and like just doing zaza stuff i would still prefer that over one streaming guy except when he is I say this with love, by the way, streaming guy. I hope you don't take it too seriously. Just, yeah, I don't want to hurt any feelings or anything. Just keep, keep making sure. I don't even think you ever met Zaza, by the way, streaming guy. He was before your time. We remember the fallen heroes. I hope Zaza is doing well. All right, let's just free this guy and actually take his item because it's like going to be cheap. 200 gold. It's going to be a 200 gold fucking common. You fucking asshole. At least I make money off of it. Exactly. Salute Southpaw. That emote's not used enough. That emote's so good. Uh, I'll take this. I just watched a player get to X6 for his first time with all six enhanced courts. Poor gamer didn't know what hit him. 
that one guy who killed the dark hero last night in like two seconds uh was later on in the discord server talking about how he doesn't think the uh the little bone fight is possible which i thought was pretty interesting i think he eventually beat it though but like there was like this guy and he killed the dark hero and like like I've, I've he killed both hero phases in like seven seconds or something he was just like on cloud nine because of that and then later on he was like i don't think the the hero fight is actually or the little bone fight's possible like sometimes i'll say this sometimes killing the hero in 10 seconds on every run you do is bad because it it lowers your skill you needed god mode to pass yeah that's the thing like killing the hero in two in two seconds it's cool it's fun but like it lowers your skill because you're not actually contending with the what the game is throwing at you you're just walking in and you're killing stuff you're not building up reflexes you're just killing things in two seconds it's not good like at least if you do it all the time if you do it sometimes it's just a fun little thing you're doing but if you do it all the time you're just hurting your gameplay um we could build a stun run maybe i've been wanting to do a stun run but i don't know if stun is good on slave it's probably okay on slave although it does stop his parries the mega op run but the majority of runs are more focused on being fun and strong i mean i like being strong and consistently winning but um i also like actually learning the game and playing it and like you know trying to um just i don't know i, I don't think there's a lot of fun to be had in just like dominating everything in two seconds you do that once and you've seen it all basically is how i feel about it you simply can't get through without dying frankly it's just because of the way he built his run like omen 2 and orc like that's that's not going to be helpful against little bone at least until you know how to actually fight him like you're just going to die over and over because he like you do you don't know how to dodge his moves that's all it is like with with a little practice he could win with that build against little bone but he's not going to win immediately against little bone with that build But the, it's just interesting, like, the, you know, like, the, like, I don't know, because, like, it's just odd how, um, how, like, the, the stronger you are in Skull the Hero Slayer, and if you build every run to be as strong as possible, you, it just makes you bad at the game. Also, and I'm not saying he's bad at the game for the record, I, I don't want it to come across like that, I don't know who that person is, they're, they're probably good at Skull, but still, like, it builds up bad habits, I guess, is a better way to describe it. Good run building equal Yeah, exactly. That's that's probably the best way to word it. Is like good he's a good run builder. And he's probably also good at Skull the Hero Slayer too. But if you do that on every run, you're just gonna you're not gonna be truly good at Skull the Hero Slayer. Omen nine orc. I mean if you have Mercury Arts, it's fine. I did swap to shield, by the way. I I, I thought the shield, uh, the shield with slave sounded interesting to me, or Spartan. I don't want to call him slave. Also, I should have upgraded the Spartan. You don't drink the pots before popping items by chance. Uh, no, I, I don't do that on purpose. I got I didn't even notice it was a thing I was doing. So, if it's like a consistent thing I do, it's just. I guess like a weird habit I build up, but there's no reason to do that. There's no item in the game that's like a regular item you can find on pedestals that benefits from that. So. Why do you always post that? <laughs> What's up with you guys? You guys always post slave colon three. I don't understand it. Bub is the best courage item in the game currently? Uh, no. Or well, maybe. Eh. Yeah, I was thinking Hope Slasher. Um, there, there's definitely a point to be made about uh, Courage Mystery versus Courage Arms. But like, I think the stats that the Hercules Club gives you are are too good. Like, it's probably better than Hope Slasher. Not by a lot though. 
Like, Hope Slasher is still goaded. But they somehow outdid Hope Slasher. The power creep, guys. It's real. One day, we're going to be playing Skull, and everyone's going to be like, Ew, Hope Slasher. Gross. This shit sucks. Pass. I'm going to take King Alexander's Tooth, which gives me uh, a 100 gajillion uh, damage percent. And it's courage, courage, courage. That's like the the tenth iteration of uh, Mr. Bakunudo and uh, Mine's item mod. Emperor Alexander's tooth. Wait for it, guys. It's coming. Hope Slasher is less stats than Metal Box. Um, I mean, not flatly, no. Sometimes, yeah. If you high roll. Oh, man, that's so tempting. Oh, come on, dog. Don't tempt me with a good time. I'm taking it. I'm taking it. Who cares what the legendary is? Not me. Get out of here. Werewolf in two years is going to make people gag when they see him. <laughs> yeah, that, that's the best timeline, though. That means the devs kept releasing skulls. Send me to that timeline, please. I'm still concerned that we're never getting another skull again. I'm scared, guys. Enhanced heirloom. Uh, if I have a good way to do it, sure. I need to find good heirloom items. I'm all, For the record, I'm not convinced that enhanced heirloom is good. I actually think it's probably bad. It's cool, but I don't think it's good. The, the question is, uh, to me... What makes it different from, like, Genie or Monkey's Clones? If they deal item damage, then it's incredible. If they don't, then it's basically just Monkey and Genie clones all over again. Except they can actually- they're, like, way more fragile and can actually die. Thank you for following Peck Peckon Mooseman. Peckon Musman. I hope that's even slightly close. Appreciate you. Power Cripple will make Nick uh, have Pogan's finger poke of doom. <laughs> you saw rubber band of uh, doom. That's going to be in skull. Club is 100% damage, HP, skill damage, and damage. I mean, yeah, it, it's better than, um, also, I'll take this. It's better than, um, than, uh, Hope Slasher, for sure. Has a Wikipedia page. I have never seen Hogan's Heroes, or anything like that. Whatever it is. Whatever it comes from. I think that's just too boomer for me. Hope versus Mailbox? Oh, okay. Well, I mean, Hope Slasher's just better on average. And, I mean, it has a better inscription on it, too. Like, uh, Courage and uh, Arms is better than Courage and Treasure. Unless you're going Treasure 4 and you're taking it to the end. But, like, Metal Box is incredible, so... As long as you get it decently early. Even if you get it before... Um, the Act 3 Adventures, it's still really, really good. But it's at that point, it's less stats than, um, than Hope Slasher. You need to get it before Act 2 for it to be more stats. Act 4, fine. I mean, it's Hulk... I know who Hulk Hogan is. I just didn't know if it was from... Um, like one of his TV shows. He was in, I mean, he was in Hogan's Heroes, right? Like for sure. It's Hogan's Heroes. Uh, how, how do I keep getting this? What is happening? I, I've gotten this so many times. It's crazy. It's 20, yeah, it's 20% per stack. He's the slim, he's also the racist guy. Let's not forget that. <laughs> 
I hate to break it to you guys. Uh, ready to die. Outgoing and incoming damage is amplified by 25% for 5 seconds upon being hit. Up to 75. Oh, God. Oh, oh, oh. That's so scary. People keep t saying it's good. I don't think it's good. I'm certainly not taking it now. That's the same. That's our Hogan. It's amazing. I don't think it's amazing. I'm... It, it, like taking 75% amp damage dog you think that's amazing that that's, and I have an omen I have an omen and I'm probably keeping it Just don't get hit. But no, that's, the, that's not what it wants for you. You get hit. But not after the fourth. Oh, okay. And then you have to take it again. You have to, like, every five seconds, you have to take enough damage to get to 74% amp. It, it's, it's fucking terrible. What are you guys talking about? You guys are off your gourds. You guys have lost it, officially. Just be ghoul. Uh, you know what? On ghoul, that's what's up. Maybe we should play ghoul after this. Ghoul could be fun. I'm down for some ghoul shenanigans. I haven't played him. With shield and this guy, it's possible to take him. I mean, sure, but like... The, the upkeep required on that item is very scary to me. I don't like it. It's not too late to go stun, but the more this run kind of un like unveils what it's going to be like, the more the less opportunity I see for stun. But this this item is crazy. This item's nuts. Since the update, Bozo, I've played I've played him on stream, dog. <laughs> oh, you have a little badge next to your name now. Current hype train conductor. Oh, I didn't even notice that. At least Twitch gives you reasons now to participate in hype trains when hype trains first came out there was like no incentive to participate in them except for like generosity you want mutant three yes uh oh yeah i do have the thingy i did i forgot that i had witch's brew We could do some stun shenanigans on this run. I mean, this item, I've been wanting to test it so bad. It's so good. It's so, so good. And both of these skulls have relatively low cooldown on their skills. I think it's a run where we could actually use it. I'll take bone shards as well. Just amp. Um, yeah, exactly. Casual amping my damage by 65%. No big deal or anything. All right, let's hope we can get through this quickly. We have the omen to help. Oh, wow. And it's dog shit. But it's money. Need my knees? What are you talking about? The fuck? Mutant upgrade? Holy fuck, I didn't even think about that. Man, this run might end up being nuts. The only issue I see with this run is it's going to be hard to uh, to activate Slave. Or God, now I'm calling him Slave. What? Oh God. No, no. Why? I always need these. It's my running gag with you, <laughs> dog. These are my knees, homie. Get your own knees. How dare you? You can ult, sir. I can just kill you while you're ulting. You fool. And then just kick your knees, old man. Ah, that'd end me. 
Like, straight up, you'd turn me into paste if you did that. That's every older... Once you're above the age of 25, that's like everyone's Achilles heel is their knees. It's just a fact. I mean, he don't need them anyway, Sly. Why? Why do you think I don't need my knees, dog? Knees are important. It's fundamental to human existence. What Doss say? Is Doss getting on your nerves, Bach? <laughs> yeah, what's, what's happening? Gladiator? Okay, I don't know. <laughs> Doss, don't get on fucking box nerves, okay? Okay, this guy's already dead. Gonna slurp you Achilles tendon? Dude! What is- Stop! Slave is hard for YouTube? Yeah. I mean, I'm just gonna call him the Spartan in the YouTube, uh... I'm gonna call him Spartan in the YouTube uh, thumbnail or whatever, like the the video. Could even call him Leonidas, something like that. That's way easier. Demigod works. I don't think I don't think that'll get as much clicks. Eventually, I'm gonna call him Demigod, but in this like early existence portion of uh, of the patch, I'm probably just gonna call him something that will uh, that will drive views to the video. Get out. Yeah, Spartan. Miss y'all fuckery. Welcome back, dog. Welcome back to the Rat Pack, or whatever the fuck this place is. All I know is it's ratty in here. Slave will not do that. Slave will draw the ire of, of uh, the CEO of YouTube. That's what that'll do. Uh, here, actually, this is perfect. I think. It could it could make me take um, Mutant off the pedestal. And I do want stun. Although, of course, min-max. I'll do it in a second. Antique box could be interesting. Average Spartan is definitely the most important figure in mythology. Thunderbird got my Destiny 2 bring. I don't know what that means. I've never played Destiny 2. My friend's trying to get me into Final Fantasy Online. I don't know if I should. I've been thinking about it though. We don't have crit, but crit's good with this item. I wouldn't mind eventually. Maybe I ditch the dizziness. Nah. I, w I want dizziness. I, I, I just want to test it. Let's buy dizziness 4. Hmm. The run's definitely powerful. For sure. Uh, what, what's my courage? Two? Arms? I could buy arms on the pedestal. Mana cycle could be nice. Actually, mana cycle is good with my, uh... Oh, I'll buy mana cycle. Mana cycle is good with my stun item. And now we do the min-max. What am I buying? Okay. Kind of made Yaksha her, uh... Hercules are uncontended. I'd mind if you gave me your damn knees. These are my knees, dog. You're gonna have to offer a pretty penny to get these knees. Because I use these Mother Hubbards a lot. I touch grass, guys. I use these knees. I promise. I'd say Gravedigger. Oh, oh thank you for the raid, uh, Archangel. I remember you. What up, dog? Were you playing Skull? If so, do you like the update? Thanks for the raid. I appreciate you. Hopefully you guys had a good time on your stream over there. It has been a while, dog. 
Uh, I call some skulls by their legendary names, but most of the time I call them by earlier names. That much is true. I don't know what to get rid of here if I get rid of anything at all. No, I haven't tried the update. What's it like? Oh, it's so good. Well, here's one of the new skulls, Swordsman. Um, if you haven't even seen anything about it, it's um, a myths-centered update where it's like uh, a lot of the characters and items are related to like mythological figures. Like we have the uh, Hand of the Destroyer here, which is just like the Hand of Midas. O overall, the update's really good. And there's also a free portion of the update that they released a new final boss and also a hidden boss as well. Basically, there's a lot of new content. And it's all very good. A hidden boss? Yup. <laughs> there is a, a hidden boss in the game now. And uh, it's crazy. <laughs> it's actually insane. I don't think I'm going to fight him on this run, but maybe I will. Who knows? All I know is I'm probably going to die if I try and fight him with an omen. Wait, what did Ben Flea say to uh, Sly? Oh, I see. Good luck, guys. Sly, you're taking your knees. Good luck. They're mine. I'm keeping them. I'll fight you for it. Like, I, yo, I'm not a fighter, but I will fight to keep these knees. They're too important. Unless you give me, like, a million dollars. Like, a life with no knees, or, like, I'm set for life... Actually, I think I'd need more than a million. I think I'd need more than that. Like, if you're taking my knees, like, that's a permanent life-altering change. I need more than just uh, a million. I hope you guys are exorbitantly wealthy. 100 million. I, I do it for less than that, I think. Yes, I do. I do go out all the time, actually. I'll have you know... I'm the most outdoorsy outdoorsman you've ever met. Go ahead, jump on me, see what happens. Ow. Please don't hurt me. Ah. Okay. Got here again. Parry uh, partners. I didn't get the parry on the shield on purpose, but it just kind of happened to be the parry. So I guess they are parry partners. The absolute is the cool name. Why am I getting offered so many good mutant items? Uh, Probably take a succubus, right? Yeah. I'm going to take a succubus. Slave to Unique at the first Arachna. That is um good, but the thing about Slave is that he doesn't really get good until Legendary. Like, he's pretty bad until Legendary, in my opinion. But when he gets to Legendary, he's great. But, like, the parry... Parrying doesn't do anything until Legendary, basically. Like, you can still use it to avoid damage, and that's useful, but, like, it it's not enough, I don't think. It'd be nice if he got some of his perks at, uh, at Unique. I mean, there are a lot of skulls in the game that don't get good to Legendary, though, so it's not, like, the end of the world. Like, think, like, Recruit, Gravedigger, and then at Legendary, they become insane. No cope. It'd be that. <laughs> For sure. I'm permanently coping. That's my whole existence. On unique, you can use skills on parry. It's, it doesn't enhance them, though. So it's still like... It just doesn't do anything. It doesn't do enough.
god, we are so strong. <laughs> and it's like I'm not even doing anything. If I was playing common only skulls, they'd be just as strong. Space Marine? The fuck that mean, dog. Oh, for the record, um, thanks to Raiden, who is here right now, actually. <clears throat> we may be streaming um, Dark Souls 3 soon. How do you know what door to go through? <clears throat> Hang on a second, I gotta drink some water. Okay, hopefully that helped. Um, oh my god. Okay, excuse me. Uh, I just have like a meta of doors I go through. Um, it, it really all comes down to personal preference, I would say. But, um... The, the way I handle doors is if... Past Act 1, if I see a Skull Room, I take a Skull Room. That's probably not going to be good for you if you're a new player. Uh, for you, generally, if you're in the Dark Mirror, I would say go into Item Rooms. In fact, actually, just go into Item Rooms in general. Item Rooms are very powerful because you get like multiple options for uh, items. It, it just allows you to see more items more often. If you're ever offered an Item Room, go into an Item Room. Um... Unless you still need to build your skull that you're using primarily to legendary. In that case, um, take skull rooms until you can build up your skull to legendary. That's um, in normal mode. In the dark mirror, you have the... I don't know why it... That's so wild that it blocked that. Um, if you're in the dark mirror, you have Arachna Shrine, which is like further stat scaling that makes bone shards a lot more valuable. The dark mirror is a much more difficult juggling act for... Uh, bone shards in the dark mirror you you want to take a lot of skull rooms so you can get a lot of bone shards uh i wish i knew how to help you more basically what it comes down to is take a lot of iron rooms kind of avoid money rooms uh after dm5 okay that's fair actually uh listen to bakanudo in that sense because i i've been playing dm10 so long i forget when the meta scaling happens but um, after a certain point in the Dark Mirror, it will be very valuable for you to take uh, Skull Rooms. Hopefully that wasn't too complicated for you, because I know you said you're new. I don't think I explained it very well. <laughs> I'm sorry. But I tried. I tried. That's all that matters. I don't know why I'm gotcha gaming today. This lag, though. It's... I mean, we've established at this point that it's the game. It's the game. It's literally at 82% and I'm, I'm chugging. It's crazy. Devs, can you please fix it? <laughs> please. Come on, guys. Come on. You know you want to. Alright, that shop sucked. Watch and try and learn. Uh, if you ever have a question, ask, and I'll answer it to the best of my ability. But I'm a a, a DM10 player for the most part, or actually not even for. I, I pretty much exclusively play DM10, so I have a lot of experience in this game, and uh, I usually do my best to try and help people who have questions. So, courage and courage on the pedestal. Hmm. I wouldn't mind Mana Tech 3 on this run. I think it'd be really nice. Unless they're stupid enough, kidding. See, when Piplip, like, throws away the ruse, that's how you know. Bone with Mutant Upgrade good? Bone with Mutant Upgrade. Bone? I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, but, oh, I see what you mean. Um, it doesn't matter. You get the stat scaling anyway. I guess it would be nice. Um, I don't see how I get bone on this run, though. Frankly, I don't know what to do about this, because I want this. I guess what I should think, what are the odds of me getting mana tech? There's reliability generator. That's good. Feel free to self-advertise, Bok. You don't gotta be around the bush, homie. Plug. Oh wait, I have this. Yeah, what am I? Get out of here. I didn't even see that shit. Fuck. 
Boo! Bye! Beals as well. There's a lot of people. Me. Beals. Bach. And probably others. I don't know how big the Skull YouTube scene is. Though Beals isn't really a part of Skull YouTube anymore. He moved on. Which, good for him. He just, he's like a veteran now. One, two, or two, five, nine. This would be the best dupe. Although, I don't know what I would get rid of for it. Actually, man, all these dupes are kind of bad. New. No. Nope. See ya. Call me a coward. Nope. That's death. I want to win. It's already death enough with just the one. I'll happily take the moniker of coward. Oh, it's only 50% HP? Right. Only. That's... Yeah, yeah, make a valid point, son. I should have thought about it more. This wouldn't be horrible here. If I could just get, like, even one crit item, it would be pretty good. Super Baby would fix it? I have Super Baby. Look! See? It's already here. Okay, we're 100% upgrading the Spartan here. I'm tempted to take this. If I, What would I get rid of? Maybe the stun stuff go... I don't know, though. The stun is giving me damage amp. And that's nice. And I have really good stun items. It's just... It's hard to fit anything on this run. I don't think crit items being shoehorned in is a good idea. Stun with parry is a no. I, I, I don't know. I, I don't think it really matters all that much. My argument there would be that there, you're never done with your needs for bone fragments, but also that's probably confusing to new players, so you probably should just... You should listen to Bakanudo when he says that. My brain is clouded by uh, consistent DM10 gameplay. And also, my need to build two skulls of legendary every run. Just like your build, not gonna lie, the stun part. I may end up getting rid of the stun part. My, my damage is pretty bad. It's gonna be hard to pivot from here, though. I could just pivot to raw damage, maybe. I don't really like it that much, either. I think it'd be popping off a lot harder without the stun. Uh, crit rate? <laughs> that, it's just pushing me to crit items. It's like, even though we're not doing big damage, the damage is still decent. It's kind of crazy. Let's start ditching the stun stuff. Like, just kind of generic arms from here is good. Um, I guess Mutant goes back on the pedestal, huh? And dizziness comes off the pedestal. Okay, so I think I'm just gonna have to float a weird build for a bit. How, what do I have lying on the ground? I have one rare. I'm gonna put one rare on the ground. That's 422, and this costs 1500. I think I'll be able to buy a pedestal. How much does it cost? Okay, yeah, I can. Good. We buy mutant on the pedestal. Alright. We're starting to get back to a sense of normalcy. 
pivoting in the middle of a run is almost never a good idea. But, I mean, it made sense here. I did a strike for crit build with... I did a strike for um, just raw damage build today for my YouTube video with... Um, with uh, God of War... All right, I guess I guess that's what's up. What what do I get? Oh, well I don't want that, but at least I don't have to open a bunch of chests. Strike upgraded, yeah, and it wasn't good. It wasn't good. I hate to say it. It could have just been because it was on God of War though. I I I don't think. Like, right out the bat. Like, my, my opinion of Strike 4 isn't that it's bad. I just think it was a bad... It was probably bad on the build I played it on. But, like, today's YouTube video is an interesting one. Strike 4 uh, in general... Well, Strike 4 in general is... is I don't think it's bad. I just think it's hard to build around, and that's its problem. Courage 4 would just be really good, <clears throat> I think. But how do I fit it? I don't think there's too much. I mean, I could get rid of the arms on him I just got. Like, this could go, and this could go. Mm, for this, though, for this item in particular, I don't think it's worth it. So it's a little bit easier. That's true. The, the new strike item is really, really good. But also, it's a unique. So that's not great. Like, the problem with Strike is how top-heavy it is. Like, all of the uh, best items in the inscription are, like, legendaries and uniques. It's just... It's really, really hard to build with it. Uh, strike upgraded gives you a 10% chance to do even deadlier strikes. And if you're hitting a lot, that's not bad odds. It kind of makes me think that strike can be good on, um, on like speed skulls, at least low damaging speed skulls. Like you could run strike on clown now, and it would probably be pretty freaking good. basically 10% of your strikes to strike yeah which is a multiplier on a multiplier on a multiplier it's so much damage uh reload the game to try and get lucky with samurai i don't even know what strike four is for for the record strike four i don't think is really built for much of anything strike four is just it's like the high roll uh uh inscription you either high roll and you get like really good shit and then it pops off or you have like the average strike run and it's terrible and you get zero luck. Like my strike run that I did on YouTube today was a good strike run. Even though it missed a lot of this uh, like extremely important stuff. I got really lucky. And like as lucky as I was it still was not a very good run. Which is just kind of indicative of strike in general. This is a really good item on this run actually. I want this. I think. Then there's this. It's max HP. It's good on all types. This issue is what Hex said. It's hard to build to consistently with lower rate rarities. I, I do agree with DOS a little bit. Like, the more hits that you can do, the better off your strike is. Because you're more often to strike. I don't... Like, like I... What DOS is saying right now, I agree with. Like... It's not good on something like Warrior. You have to have some level of hit consistency. Which, for the record, Guan, uh, um, 
God of War has. He actually has enough hit consistency to be good with strike, at least in theory. And when I played him, he wasn't good with strike, which threw me off. But also, I didn't high roll enough. That's the problem with fucking strike. It's just, it's so problematic. Let's get rid of, ah, no, 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 no. This goes, this goes. Get the huge crit. That's streaming guy moment. One of many. I think I want to get rid of weakness exposure and take go getter. Go getter, go getter, go getter, go getter. Weakness exposure is good with this, but I don't think it's even that large of a portion of my damage. Go getter is better. Multiply zero by two for three, you still get zero. Okay, hey, hey, come on, come on, come on. Let's not be too harsh. He ain't that bad. They buffed these two curses. Oh, I didn't pay attention. I have to start looking at curses more. I'm still in that autopilot kind of where it's like most curses were pretty bad before. Depends on what the curses were. You guys are too harsh on my new friends. If you guys don't start being mean to God of War, we're not going to play with you anymore. We're going to take our basketball home, and then you're going to have nothing. And then what are you going to do? You even like basketball? Alright, what do you like? Huh? I'll take that home too. Oh, I, I was way too high up in the air. I messed up that parry timing hard. <laughs> you gonna play football or something else though? I mean, I suck at all sports, okay? I'm just bad at, at anything sports related in general, so. It's not like we're playing basketball because we want to be fucking Kobe Bryant. We're playing basketball because it's fun. Well, you don't like fun? Disc golf. I'll fuck y'all up. Disc golf, I think, would be fun, actually. I bet that's a fun sport. I'd still suck at it, but... Good esports player, so therefore he's bad at games. Hey, esports are cringe, so... Like, unironically, how you call everything cringe? Like, if you had said that about esports, you would have been right for once. Why do they always play dubstep at esports e events? What is it, 2013? Like, they haven't learned any new music since 2013? Like, why is it always dubstep? I like being good at things, me too. Got it around the nose. My arm is like a cannon for disc golf. I've gotten one of my discs wedged in a tree. <laughs> That's pretty awesome, actually. I just want to, like, fling stuff. Like, I don't think I'd be good at frisbee golf, but, like, just the thought of, like, flinging it as hard as I can and, like, maybe one time landing it into the fucking thing on first try, that makes it all worth it. Y'all just die, please. Tired of y'all. Just get out of my way. Wow, what a low roll on the chests. I got nothing here. This is a waste of time. Is something that can actually happen? Well, I don't think it'd take that long, but it would take a very long time. Are, you're not arguing with DOS, are you, Bok? Don't do it. Don't do it. Fuck. 
If you're, do I don't know if you're doing that right now, but if you are, you should stop, dog. Don't do it, dog. Trust me. Trust me. I'm telling you right now, homie. It ain't worth it. What are my pedestals? Mutant. Mana cycle. I have this now. I can buy Brawl. Uh, that's really dense damage scaling. How much does it hurt? It's only 29 right now, actually. No, not that. This. This is also 55% damage. You know what? Yeah, I'm going to do it. Brawl, please. It also gives me bone, which is interesting with both the mutant omen and also mutant uh, enhanced. Who cares how long it would take? It's very important how long it would take. That's wasted time. That's... DOS is... Like, you know, I, I gotta say it. DOS is right. But this is also because it's a, it's a take that I've had as well, so... Like, DOS is vicariously right because it's something I've said. <laughs> I'm just joking for the record. Brawl? Oh, wow. <laughs> really? I What? What do I do? That sounds so dope. Brawl with this? That sounds crazy. Brawl. I like that, actually. What do I do? I want it. I want it so bad. It'd be so good. Targeted your claim specifically, Hex? Which one? I, I We can get rid of this, but like, how much damage is that lo losing me? It's not that bad. Eh, I'm doing it. I want to. I want Brawl 4. How often do I take find a clone step I can actually use? Drop idle? Hell no. I think this run is weird, but I like it. Is it going to win? I don't know, but I like it regardless. I think I'll uh, scale my Arachna damage shrine up instead of my skull cooldown and attack speed because we're not really... Like, this run's kind of playing itself. Wait, now you're arguing with DOS. <laughs> Fuck, I, I, I don't remember what claim you said. The thing about warrior? The strike upgraded have a chance to proc on strike four. Hmm? Haxa is arguing game feel while Doss is arguing how often he sees red explosions on other people's screens. Maths don't care about your feelings. Oh no. <laughs> oh, he's touching the poop. He's touching the poop. Fuck, you're touching the poop. I've been there. I've argued with Doss and I learned my lesson. It's not worth it. It's not worth it. He doesn't listen, okay? But my argument isn't game feel, um, cause like, it it genuinely is just like, uh, like Warrior just doesn't he doesn't hit often enough to to justify um, strike four. Occasionally you'll get like a big damage, but the question is, is your Warrior build better off just going raw damage percent? And I think the answer is pretty much always yes. And that's what happened on um, the Guan Yu run yesterday, actually. Or today's YouTube run, I should say, is um I went strike four. By the end of the run, I pretty much just thought like I I would have been better off literally just having raw damage percent because like without proccing attacks often, 
um, you're not getting the strike uh, bonus enough to justify it. It's more than just game feel. It's just how it is. Hang on, one, just one moment. I had to blow my nose. Your argument that the good strike items do not exist at rare is the truth, not that the inscription is bad. Uh, I don't think the inscription's bad. I just think it's high roll dependent to, to a point that is extremely negative and makes it hard to use. But like, what makes a what makes an inscription bad? Like, does does this being the case not make it bad? I, I'm not saying it's bad. I'm just asking. Like, what's your criteria for what makes a bad inscription? I think consistency is very important in this game, and if something's not consistent, there's definitely merits to uh, be made about it not being good. Does it... Hang on, I should be... If there's a freaking demon hunter on the screen i shouldn't be reading my chat i should be contending with the demon hunter some goaded items it doesn't change the fact that the hidden blade sucks exactly that's i guess the opposite of strike huh hidden blade 2 is fine if you have hidden blade 2 it's like hidden blade 4 is just too much investment sometimes you just end up with it though because like the items in hidden blade are so good you just pick them up and you just end up having it but that hasn't happened to me yet in this update, which I think says something. But I also haven't played a crit item build. Oh wait, what am I doing? He's bubbled. Early game value in rooms. Early game value is meaningless. Unless you're new. In which case, sure. But like, uh, for me, I don't need early game value. Not anymore. God damn it. <laughs> Can I parry, please? Just let me parry. Your water skull always has hidden blade. That's because you played crit items, probably. Water skull and crit items is very powerful. Dual heirloom. I have dual, right? Somewhere. I thought I did. Uh, maybe I had dual in the past. I wouldn't mind getting a better mana cycle item than this um, mana eater. I'm not really using it that much. Does brawl during an entire run? Huh? I don't know what that means. Come on. <laughs> Just, come on, dog. Really? Why you gotta be like that? Wait, no, stop. Mana cycle, please. Something really good, please. Hey, look, here's the strike item, by the way. The new one. It's really good. But it's also a unique, which is uh, not great. Reaching the... Yeah, I, it's a strike item that gives really good crit rate that's consistent. It's good. I wish I could find it on a strike run and actually use it. But the fact that they made it a unique is just not what they should have done, in my opinion. Uh, hmm. I do want bone, so I think I do have to get rid of this. But it gives me arms back, so this was like the perfect item to find. 
All right, good luck to me. I, it's, luck be upon me today. <laughs> I'm getting very lucky. This run's good. Such a big boost that you will be able to face the little guy. Uh, well, okay, I have an omen, so I don't think so. And also, I'm probably taking Brawl. Maybe I'll take Mutant. I don't know, because I have Bone, right? Mutant's kind of overkill, I think, on a, a run like this. And uh, Mutant's just increase. Brawl is amp. Across an entire run. Oh, I see. Gotcha. Brawl has value against bosses. It deals damage. What more do you want? Take your luck and eat it. All right, light Yagami. Who? I'm Sly Bozo. You've never seen the, the the Death Note meme. I take a potato chip and eat it. I'm at a loss. It's so good. Someone else has to know the fucking potato chip meme, right? It's so good. It's one of the best line deliveries, maybe, of all time. Also, watch this. Bye. You do? That's what's up. Rare streaming guy W. You have 40% chance of dealing a strike hit, then it has a 25% of being a super strike hit. Still 10%, but implemented over two RNG rolls. That's odd. Because you said you're going to eat my RNG, and it reminded me of it. Forty percent ain't that bad, actually. If it's forty percent, maybe, uh, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe Warrior could run that. Forty percent's not low at all, as long as your crit rate's decent. You're weird, man. No, I'm not. Thirty. Thirty's a lot worse. Okay. <laughs> I don't know. 30 is like a much harder sell. Okay, we're powerful. Y'all are tripping, by the way, if you don't fucking know the, the potato chip meme. Maybe I'm just too old. That was like when I was in high school. It was awesome. Oh, we're so strong. The Death Note English dub is actually, in my opinion, good. I, <laughs> I, I just don't know why they delivered the line like that. It's so awesome. That motherfucker ate that potato chip hard. He wasn't fucking around. Um... I think I'll just break the quint. Max HP, please. We have very low max HP. That's how I lose this run. Use fairy tale. Okay, that's just disrespect. <laughs> He's putting the disrespect on his name hard. Last body at the end's interesting, but I'm not selling anything. I mean, what would I sell? All this is contributing very. Actually, how much is. Okay, it's a really good collection of Zyre. Alright then. Hmm. Yeah, I'm gonna max skill this. We got screwed on the bone shards on this run, but also worth keeping in mind that I had to upgrade two commons to legendary, so. It is what it is. I don't remember that. I mean, it's not like it stands out to you in the moment, but like. In hindsight, it's hilarious. But, like, when you're watching the moment, you're just, like, pogging. Because, like, 
it's a, it's actually a cool moment in the series too. The best episode episode of Death Note, in my opinion, is the one where he tricks that girl. That's that's and that episode happens early too. That episode's so good, like where he's like manipulating her the whole time, and she's like about to find out that. He, and you know, spoilers for Death Note, but it's been so long. It's your fault if you haven't seen it, I guess. But um, like the 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 investigator lady's about to find out that he's Kira, and like she's like really close to finding out, and he's like panicking, and he like at the last second literal last possible second manipulates her and then like forgets her name oh it's so good that episode's so fucking good goes nuts for apples uh ryuk i like how you think sly <laughs> uh i guess that's enough right yeah that'll do here's our kit it's good it's really good i have a lot of options for um for my upgraded inscription. Been a while since you've seen it. I mean, I forget when I last watched it. It's not been that long, though. I think I rewatched it maybe in like 2021 or so. I rewatch it fairly regularly. A lot of people really hate the back half. I, I don't think the back half is bad, but it's certainly not as good as the first half. That's for sure. Like, I don't agree with people that it sucks, though. I think it's fine. There's like this one moment that's really, really, really bad in the back half, though. It's undeniably bad. Spoon with peanut butter? That's a good moment, Piplip. That mutant will be the best upgrade. Hang on, I gotta focus. <clears throat> uh... <laughs> Hero, that hurts. Well, I didn't mean to do that, but sure. This run's been so crazy just because, like, I have, like, constant AoE damage around me. That I've barely even had any opportunities to do a super parry with uh, my Spartan. And we upgraded him in Act 3. Dude goes around the whole house looking for cameras. That's cool. This is at... Hang on, I gotta uh, focus on this fight, but I'll read that in a moment. I'll try and do a super parry here. How did that miss? Ah. We'll do a super parry here for sure. We'll also do a super parry here. Or I guess we won't. Have fun over there, bozo. You ain't getting me. Bye. Cowboy Bebop. I've never seen Cowboy Bebop ever. And, and it's crazy that I haven't. I know it's crazy that I haven't seen it. <laughs> Fuck. Stop, dog. <laughs> dog, you gotta stop. Box fucking wildin, dude. He's losing it. My man has lost his. He's off his gourd with, with fury and anger. 
You're old and haven't seen it. I, I wasn't watching anime when I was younger. Like, there's a lot of stuff I missed. Let him duke it out. I'm trying to help Bach, but I guess I'll let him duke it out. Alright, we got a choice here. Enemies hit by the enhanced wave are slowed and de damage dealt to them is amplified by 30% for 1.5 seconds. The thing about this is we are doing the enhanced hit a lot. And um, we don't even have to be near the enemy to do it. That's the thing that makes me want to take upgraded brawl. And also, I've taken this. I've not taken this. But I frankly think this is this is the play. This is good, though, obviously. It's really good. But I want to try out upgraded Brawl. Like, how often am I going to have Brawl for? It's not often. I'm going to have Mutant on a lot of runs. Once every two seconds at one point. The slowness is what I'm more interested in than the amp. But um, it's going to be good damage regardless. Because the, the thing that makes this powerful is that I don't even have to be near the enemy to activate it. I can just swap across the screen and they'll get hit by my mist we'll see though we'll see if i made the right call i have to focus though you guys aren't here anymore i'm i'm not streaming right now i'm playing off fucking camera Okay, my succubus missed. What the fuck? Oh, he slowed. Okay, there we go. Okay, here we go. Okay, I think I made the right call. That was crazy. <clears throat> the slowness is so uh, overpowered. Especially with how often I'm proccing it. Dude, Brawl 4 might actually be really good now. Unironically. I've been a Brawl 4 doubter for a very long time. But I actually think it might be good now. Though that's bad. That, that's bad, actually. I don't like that at all. I ain't going front. Okay, I'm, I'm fucking up. Uh-oh. I'm flubbing this. Okay. This is bad. Oh no, come on, come on. Uh. The problem is it doesn't slow the other stuff down. Oh, it does slow it down. Oh my God, it's a double-edged sword. Wait, how is he alive? What is happening? Wait, what is happening? What's happening? What? What? Clip and send as a bug? I mean, this is a YouTube video. I guess it's going to be seen. Okay, well, <laughs> hey man, that's what's up. <laughs> what? Brawl 4 bug, maybe? Uh, it could be the enhancement? I don't know. 
Well, don't think you'll see your video. I, I will send them the clip. Um, or curse bug. It could be anything. That's the problem. Like it could literally be any one of these things that I have. But like that's never happened to me before, and I've never had brawl four before. So I don't know. But um, I I actually think we would have won that had uh, that not happened. Despite the the loss of reassembly, I think we were on track to win, which is really fucking annoying. Yeah. I mean, you can't beat bugs, I guess. Brawl 4 is very, 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 very good. But if it's if it's bugged, it's going to be unusable. But also, there are downsides to Brawl. The the way it was slowing down the fucking... Can you do this some safe scumming? I'll do that off of recording. I don't want to do that on recording again. I'm just going to post this and take the L, I guess. But I do want to try that again. We, we should test it. Um, But... For YouTube, that's all. Uh, apologies, guys. Uh, <laughs> what the fuck are you going to do? I'm going to try this again off of a recording. Maybe if I win, I'll put it in the... Uh, you mi Yeah, you missed a bug, Delta. You missed um, a very strange bug. Yeah, watch that. Um, just end another and continue. I mean, I'm, I, I don't have time for another run. For the record, I, I don't... Watch that clip. I don't have time for another run. It's for almost four hours, so this is a good time anyways. But, um... Yeah. Brawl 4, uh... Scary. The fact that it slows down their animations is pretty fucked up. It was extremely good against Phase 1 Alexander. Ah, Phase 2 Alexander, if it's doing that, I don't know what to think. It definitely helped me kill the fist really fucking quick. I... I don't know. It's... I want to like it. But the, the fact that it was slowing down the animations is crazy. But, um, good attempt. Uh, it, fucking, you can't, you just can't beat bugs, I guess. I don't know. I don't, who knows what happened there. I'm going to test it again after I end this recording, so. It is what it is. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it regardless. Uh, thank you guys for watching. I appreciate y'all. And I will see you again in the next one. Bye-bye. All right, round two. Not when renaming, just when pasting. That's so stupid. Windows is annoying. Fuck you, Bill Gates. That's probably not a good way to start this segment if I put it in my video. But Bill Gates can suck a fat one. You're not going anywhere, Alexander. You almost had a heart attack on camera. Oh. Did you get the... No, it, it starts me in the Alexander fight, so I have to... And also, we're testing Brawl anyway. Like, I don't want the mutant upgrade. I want Brawl. So I can see if this happens to me again. God, look how much damage it's doing. It's freaking insane. Except when he goes into the air, then we're shit out of luck. Come down here, coward. It was a what? Huh? I say, huh? I say, what? This, okay, this is going on the video. What is happening? 
Oh my god, my parents are yelling. They're not arguing, there's- my mom has a habit- Oh! Oh, what the fuck? But I still have Brawl and it didn't happen. What- what happened last time? Like, what? Eh? I don't know. Cheater, cheater, pants on cheater. Dude, I- I didn't mean to, man. This is a bug that happens when you set the fight. But, like, the thing is, the, the thing didn't happen again, so what the hell? Like, actually, what the hell? What happened to me in the last one? <laughs> what what was that? That w It wasn't Brawl 4 then, it was something else. Okay, then. Well. A lot of DPS, but that doesn't change that the bug didn't happen. Timing related bugs do not happen 100% of the time. Well, okay, so what does that mean though? Uh, I guess you, welcome back YouTube. I did it again and the bug didn't happen. And it gave me mutant upgraded also. Um, I still think the run would have won without it though. Like if that bug hadn't happened, we'd be, we'd be sitting pretty right now. Like we would, this would, would have been the result regardless, but then we got fucked by a bug. It didn't lose because of anything I did though. It lost because the fucking... I got bugged out of the game. Like, it ain't my fault. Maybe it got the slow down or death and maybe that broke the fist. Maybe, actually. That means Rakshasa could pos... If it's slowness related, like, Rakshasa could break the fist. A Predator could break the fist. Like, a lot could break the fist if it's slowness related. But we don't know if it's slowness related. Rare Thief, also true. Yaksha can't- Oh yeah, that's true, he can't. True. Um, maybe Rare- may, Maybe Predator can't either. And also, maybe, um... Maybe Rare Thief can't either. I don't know. Like, what? <laughs> what? Why did that happen to me, man? Would make Predator swap even worse. I don't think Predator Swap's bad. As Lich Slow. But Lich probably can't affect it either. I, Brawl, Brawl probably is a special case. Because, like, you literally can't get Brawl enhanced until you, um... Until you get past Alexander. So maybe they specially coded Brawl Slowness to be, like, a different tier of Slowness or something that can affect uh, Alexander. Predator Swap is good, even though it would be better if it did something else besides just putting debuffs on enemies and stuff, but, like, it's still good. It's a fine swap, but whatever. Um, I don't want this to linger too long because the last outro was really long. Uh, it, we, I'm counting this as a win. I don't care. I don't care that I had to play it again. The run would have won. More than likely, the run would have won, I should say, because we, we were doing better this time around in Alexander than the last time, but I still think just with how powerful this run was that we would have still won regardless. But I can't look into that universe, obviously. There's an alternate universe where, like, the, the result is known. <laughs> but I'm counting this as a win, so... It is what it is. Even with the mutant. Like, we didn't need it. This windscreen is beautiful. It's not... It's so hard to break this windscreen. I feel like they did this despite me, specifically. <laughs> I don't know why. I mean, it's not true, but... They're like, this, this one guy likes breaking our windscreens? Well, then, fuck him. Good luck with this one. We're going to make it activate like 10 feet from the ledge. Good luck, Haxa. But uh, I'm ending the... I don't even need to do an outro. <laughs> what do I do with this outro? Thank you guys for watching. I appreciate you all. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.